good morning my dear students yesterday we were reading a chapter a house is not a home okay so in this chapter we have come to know about that teenager boy that how much he suffered he was thinking only about you can say his house he was thinking about his pet cat which he thought that it got burnt in that fire so when he has to shift to new school he found really so much difficulty to cope up in a new environment with new friends with new environment but he was not having any option because mother was insisting him that he should uh, not suffer he should join new school so when he had when the complete fire was completely engulfed in that area on the very next day when he came to see the condition of his house so he was very much shocked that everything you can say turned into ashes and it was so pathetic it was so surprising that uh, from that debris from that you can say remains he wanted to find his cat so this was really a pathetic condition which is described so up to that we have read the text okay so from that we are going to read further so we were reading this paragraph that make the rubble that used to be our house so from that rubble okay so he just was hoping that he would be able to find out his cat okay she was gone so he was always thinking about his cat the way she was playing the way she was disturbing the way she was tagging him following him so uh, the way she was climbing on his robe okay he, she used to crawl into his pocket okay to fall asleep okay so he was missing that cat terribly okay so up to that we have read the text now start from this paragraph it always seems that bad news spread quickly it always seems that bad news spread quickly okay laksh you read Yes, ma'am. It always seems that bad news spreads quickly, and in my case, it was no different. Everyone in high school, including the teachers, was aware of my plight. I was embarrassed, as if uh, somehow I were responsible. What a way to start off at a new school! This was not the kind of attention I was looking for. The next day at school. people were uh, acting even more strange than usual i was getting re ready for gym class at my locker people were milling around me asking me to hurry up i thought it i, I thought it's it i thought it strange but in the light of, of the past few weeks nothing would surprise me it almost seemed that they were trying to shove me in the gym then i saw why there was a big table set up with all kinds of stuff on it just for me they had taken up a collection and bought me school supplies notebooks and all kinds of different clothes jeans tops sweat shoot suits it was like christmas i was overcome by emotion people who had never spoken to me before were coming up to me to introduce themselves okay. i got all kinds of invitations to their houses The, their genuine outpouring of concern really touched me in that instant i fin i finally breathed a sigh of relief and thought for the first time that things were going to be okay i made friends that day okay now in these two paragraphs what we have come to know that it was really that it seems that bad news they always spread quickly okay but in his case it was quite different this was his mentality okay because he was in high school okay everyone they were in high school so everybody was aware of his plight plight means everybody was aware of his condition so bachche write down the meaning of difficult words plight so plight means 
condition it means in that school everyone was aware of that of his condition okay so he was feeling embarrassed okay and how he was feeling embarrassed as somehow he was responsible for that like that okay so he was thinking that why not to continue with the same school why to start a new school okay because this is not the kind of attention he was looking for okay so when he had to move to new school people were you can say acting very much strange than usual because he was getting ready for his gym class okay at his locker so people were milling around him it means people were collecting around him okay gathering around him and they were telling him to hurry up okay so it was really a strange okay but in the light of past few weeks nothing would surprise me because they were trying to show me into the gym okay and after that he was so surprised that why people were having such kind of experience okay because when he went there there was a very big table which was set up and very necessary kind of stuff was kept on that table okay it means they all wanted to help that boy okay like they brought school supplies they brought notebooks they brought different different kind of clothes so like jeans top sweatshirts okay so it was just seeming that it was just like a christmas for him so when a table was set and different kind of things were kept over there so he was so surprised that such kind of you can say attention was given by different kind of Uh, students over there because they wanted to help that boy in any of the way, way by providing clothes by providing food by providing necessary items stationery items school items so many things were kept on that so it was just like a christmas for him because he was getting so many gifts like that so he became so emotional okay it means the people who were so cold who never used to talk to him now they were coming forward to help him okay so he was getting invitation of different different houses okay so this was really a you can say genuine uh, sign from all that and he was getting uh, because they all were showing concern and this concern really touched him that he was really overwhelmed he was so touched to see the concern okay and finally this was a time when he really breathed a sigh of relief and first time he thought now the things are going to be okay because the people in his surrounding they were showing him concern everybody came forward to help that boy okay so from that day he started making friends he became friends of so many you can say students so he started making friends and at that time he felt now yes he was feeling comfortable okay now okay dhiren you read further yes ma'am a month later it was at my i was at my house watching them rebuild it but this time it was different i wasn't alone i was with two of my new friends from school it took a fire for me to stop focusing on my feeling of insecurity and open up to all the wonderful people around me now i was sitting there watching my house being rebuilt when i realized my life was doing the same thing need for the while we sat there on the curb planning my new bedroom i heard someone walk up to me from behind and say does this belong to you when i turned around to see who it was i couldn't believe my eyes a woman was standing there holding my cat i leapt up and grabbed her out of the woman's arms i held her close to me and cried into the be- that beautiful orange fur she purred happily my friends were hugging me hugging the cat and jumping around now see what happened afterwards so near about one month passed okay and he saw that his house was about to rebuild on the same place 
okay but this time it was very much different because he was not alone at that time because two of his friends new friends that he made in school okay so they came they approached him to help him okay so it took a fire for me to stop focusing on my feelings of insecurity it means when he was feeling insecure when he was feeling so alone so these people came forward to help him so the people who were in his surrounding they came they approached him to help him okay so he was simply used to sit there he used to see his house okay being rebuilt okay then he was realizing now his life is going to be same again earlier as earlier it was so when he was sitting there on a curb curb you can say short border bachche write down the meaning of curb curb is a short border so when he was sitting there on a short border he used to look at his house that how the construction work was going on so what happened basically so he was simply sitting there he was looking at his house that what was going on so he thought now everything is going to be normal okay so now he was planning that how his new bedroom would be okay and when this kind of thought was going in his mind that how his new bedroom would be he heard someone someone walk to him from behind and said does this belong to you and he turned down and he saw what was that so he couldn't believe his eyes there was one woman who was standing there and there was he was standing there and there was one cat in her eyes okay the lady was you can say holding that cat so he leapt it up it means he jumped and he you can say grabbed he snatched that from woman's arms okay this was the scene okay so that cat was so close to him and he you can say started crying and he was you can say having beautiful orange fur so she purred happily to me she made sound so happily so my friends they started hugging me they started hugging that cat and they were jumping around because they became so happy because their friend was so you can say feeling alone he was really feeling so disturbed his life has got a complete turn and he was missing his cat too much and at that time when he was sitting on a border he was looking at his house all of a sudden one woman came and she gave that cat and she said does it belong to you okay now actually what happened how that cat reached that lady now let's know about this thing apparently who is going to read now and another child okay diya you read yes diya you read yes ma'am apparently my cat had been so freaked by the fire that she ran over a mile away her collar had her phone number on it but her phones had been destroyed and disconnected this wonderful woman took her in and worked hard to find out whose cat it was somehow she knew this cat was loved and sorely missed as i sat there with my friends and my cat curled up in my lap all the overwhelming feelings of loss and tragedy seemed to diminish i felt gratitude for my life my new friends the kindness of a stranger and the loud purr of my beloved cat my cat was back and so was i okay now bachche there are some difficult words you also write down the meanings only then you'll be able to understand the text okay
so apparently it was very much clear that his cat she was very much afraid very much terrified of the fire okay so when finally when fire broke out in the house she ran so fast she ran over a mile away it means near about 1 mile away she ran and uh, uh, on her collar the collar that she was having our phone number was also written but they were trying to phone the person who has caught that uh, cat they were trying to phone but their phone were destroyed they were disconnected because of fire okay but this wonderful woman she took her and she worked so hard to find out whose cat it was okay because somehow she knew that this cat was really loved by someone and really you can say sorely missed sorely means to a very high degree it was missed okay so he was sitting with his friends and his cat was in his lap and she was uh, all the overwhelming feeling of loss overwhelming means you can say very much to a very high extent the feelings what were the feelings of loss and tragedy now they were about to diminish diminish means they were about to over okay so overwhelming means too much too much feelings and diminish diminish means going to be over so all these feelings they were going to be over okay and now he he was able to find out his back cat and now so was i so was i it means he was also coming to his previous position he was going to uh, you can say get entry into a same house his life was going to be normal so this was all about this chapter i hope my dear students have enjoyed this chapter it was full of emotions but it's really good that it was having a happy ending that how did he cope up how did he face all these situations okay so this is all about now read first question what does the author notice one sunday afternoon what is his mother's reaction what does she do now i want positive response from all of you i want maximum participation only then i will come to know that how many of you are really seriously studying so don't give me a chance beta i just don't want to scold you i want that my all students should be active because this chapter was not so complicated this chapter was so simple so easy and i have explained to you in detail now i expect my students should only one student is raising hand see what about others i'm giving you 2 minutes to frame this answer hurry up hurry up all of you start framing this answer start framing this answer only one student is raising his hand why gurjab kaur has come in my class from 9th b gurjab you are not supposed to enter today this arrangement was only for yesterday so go and gurjab go and enter your 9th b class okay first answer first of all i will be asking uh, ashmeet kaur after ashmeet ridhima you should be ready with your answer ashmeet kaur then ridhima should be ready with first answer okay ashmeet unmute yourself and tell me the answer okay ma'am one sunday afternoon uh, he he was sitting at the home uh, dining table doing their homework it was cold and windy fall day they had fire going on their fireplace they all were sitting quietly until he smelled something strange and then noticed that smoke was pouring through the seams of the ceiling 
The smoke began to fill the room so quickly that they could barely see. They all ran out in the front yard. By the time we they made our way out, they they made their way outside. The whole roof was engulfed in flames and was spreading really quickly. He ran to the neighbors to call the fire department. While his mother ran back into the house to carry small metal box full of important documents, she dropped the case on the lawn and in a crazed state ran back into the house. Okay, good. Uh, any of the child take a screenshot at this moment. There are participants thirty one, include me. So it means thirty students are present in my class. Take a screenshot at this time and send me on my WhatsApp number. Those uh, only one child willingly do do, do this. Otherwise, I have given duty to one of the child, but I want ex exact now. This screenshot should send to on my WhatsApp number. So who is going to do this? Show me thumbs up. Who will be doing? By the time, Ridhima, you answer. Okay, Dhiren, you do do this. Okay, Dhiren or Ashmeet, any of you take this screenshot and send to me. Yes, Ridhima, tell me this answer. Unmute yourself and tell me. Good morning, ma'am. Framing the answer, I will tell you the answer in one or two minutes. Okay, by the time, uh, Simran, you tell me this answer. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> One Sunday afternoon, the narrator was sitting at the dining table doing his homework. It was very cold outside, so his mother was tending the fire to keep them warm and nice. Suddenly, the author noticed smoke coming out of the roof. In no time, the room was full of smoke and they could barely see. They somehow managed their way outside the house and by then the flames had spread throughout it. The narrator ran to the neighbor's place to call the fire brigade. Okay. His, uh, his mother ran back into the house and tried to recover important document and his father's photographs. Like all good homekeepers, she knows the importance of documents. Moreover, she is also aware of the fact that how precious her late husband's photographs were. Good. Very well written. Very nice. Okay. Now, Ridhima, you tell me this answer. Yes, ma'am. The author, while doing his homework, noticed the smoke pouring uh, in through the seams of the ceiling. The room was filled with the smoke very quickly. The author and his mother ran outside to see their life. His mother ran out of the house with a small metal box full of important documents. She became so crazy that she rushed back to the house just after dropping the box. Good. Very well written. You have uh, spoken. Yes, you have spoken so well. Now, this in this answer, you have to just tell that it was a smoke which was noticed by narrator. And this smoke was coming from the seam of the ceiling. But it is very much compulsory to write down this kind of vocabulary that you have to keep, pick up from your a literature book it is given seam seam word seam of the roof so from where the smoke was coming it was coming from the seam of the roof okay or roof you can say write down seam and very quickly this seam completely spread all around and whole of the a uh, house was you can say in whole of the house a fire broke out so you can write down for this the fire engulfed the whole house the fire engulfed you pick up that word to add in your answer it is very much compulsory to add seam word it is very much a compulsory to add engulf word so fire engulfed in whole of the house so it was very much difficult okay to cope up with that situation. Now, what is the question? So, what was the reaction of his mother? The reaction of his mother that she, first of all, they went outside, but after that, she went inside to bring something valuable. So, that could be photograph of his late uh, husband or some of the important documents. Okay. 
and in this way she went inside to carry all the important material or belongings now let's move to next question why does he break down in tears after the fire when there was a fire afterwards that teenager boy why was he you can say uh, why does he break down in tears it means why was he crying so badly only three students very simple answer is given and only three students are raising their hands isn't it surprising isn't it surprising so who is going to tell me why does he break down in tears after the fire okay very good today jashan has raised her hands i want to appreciate jashan okay jashan you tell me this answer why does he break down in tears yes. after the fire yes the author said cat was nowhere to be found he also cried he was suffering loss in the absence of his cat he loved her dearly therefore he broke down in tears very good very good so what was the reason behind that because he was not able to find out his domestic pet cat okay and he was thinking negative kind of thinking was coming in his mind that uh, that cat was not found to be found not to be found anywhere so where has she gone okay and moreover he was suffering with that big loss and he had to join a new school his house was completely burned and his pet cat was missing he was not, his house was not there okay so there were you can say different different incident and he lost everything in that fire so this was a reason that after the fire he was uh, crying so bitterly because he was not able to control on his emotions okay so same answer i expect from i expect from aryan chopra aryan chopra can you tell me same answer yes aryan chopra aryan unmute yourself why are you wasting our time bacche see their condition this chapter is simple riza riza you are not participating what happened to you you haven't sent me any of the certificate are you there unmute yourself riza i just wanted to talk to you yes riza unmute yourself you haven't sent any of the certificate and these messages have been sent in english group as well as your in your class group so many times but you are least bothered why are you not sending me certificate after class you talk to me riza okay same answer daljeet you tell me daljeet you tell me same answer unmute yourself unmute yourself okay just seen you tell me same answer yes ma'am the author house was completely burnt after 5 hours when the fire was finally put out then he realized that his cat was now where he thought that he had suffered from a big loss as he has uh, also joined the, his new school and uh, <clears throat> he was missing his uh, pet cat also at that time he broke down into tears okay now bachche we will continue this chapter tomorrow okay but i just want to discuss something with you regarding the activity that uh, has been posted in your group so i just want to talk regarding to that okay so all of you get ready with the answers tomorrow we will be continuing with this chapter